Hey guys, for quite a few years we've been using a Samsung T5 as our portable drive solution. It is a small SSD which we can take everywhere when we're working remotely. It's 500 gig and it's done us well. It's quite fast, about 500 meg speed, but we need a few more and I wanted to do some research. Back then NVMe drives were quite expensive. And to be honest, the top end ones are still quite extortionate. But there is now an NVMe drive which is about double the speed of the SSD and not that much more expensive. And this is where this drive comes in. It's a drive from Transcend and it's half a terabyte as well, but it is based on NVMe format. Let's see what's inside the box. So the drive itself is about the size of a credit card, obviously a little bit of a thick one but it is still very compact. You immediately notice that it has this rubberized material. It is drop tested to US military standard. That comes in especially useful when we're traveling around and working on the go, where we use that drive and throw in a bag and get on with the rest of our shoot. So that way we get at least trust that our data is gonna be protected and the work that we're doing for a client is safe and sound. This drive is PCIe SSD and also comes in three size variants. Also upon purchase, you'll get an exclusive Transcend Elite software, which can be used to set up backups and restores, encrypt your data and also cloud sync. It is a great and easy way to keep your important files organized, protected and up to date. Let's check out what else comes in the box. Here we have a USB type A to USB type C. and USB Type-C to USB Type-C. This is actually a reversible cable, so you can plug it in either way. Then we have a quick installation guide and some other products that Transcend sells, which is memory modules and other drives. On paper, this unit should deliver about twice the speed in comparison to a Samsung T5. Let's go and test this out in both synthetic and real life scenarios and take it from there. Now let's get into the benchmarking results and see how well they perform. In the synthetic test AS SSD, it is clear to see that the sequential read and write speeds are far superior on a transcend drive. When it comes down to random 4K, it all changes where Samsung drive actually delivers better read speeds. This must be linked to the seek times having considerably lower latency on a Samsung drive in comparison to the transcend drive. Next, we move on to the crystal disk mark, and here we see similar results in which Transcend has 80% increase in sequential read and 67% in sequential write speeds. Then we have 26% drop in random read and 34% increase in random write. This is pretty consistent with the previous testing. Now onto the more realistic tests. We are creators and constantly work on our projects on the go. This includes moving a lot of pictures and videos to and from portable SSDs. Here we transferred just short of 200 gigabytes of small files from PC to the portable hard drive and immediately saw the transfer drive is about 100 megabytes faster than Samsung. But after approximately 100 gigabytes, for some reason transfer speed dropped to about 80 to 120 megabytes per second and never recovered. To compare, Samsung completed the transfer in 11 minutes and 25 seconds, while Transit Drive has completed it in 24 minutes. Both drives were noticeably hot towards the end of a transfer, and this is why I wondered if that is actually the cause. So I immediately reversed the test. Now we're reading the data from the drive and saving it onto the PC. Here, Samsung speed was between 320 and 400 megabytes per second and completed the test in nine minutes and two seconds. Next up was Transcend, and to my surprise, it absolutely flew through the test, maintaining the speed between 400 and 600, and completed it in six minutes and 24 seconds. That is 40% improvement. So I still have no answer to why the speed went down so much. It may be small files which eat up a lot of our IOPS and then drop the speed, so I proceeded with copying three large files totaling of 230 gigabytes. Samsung Drive started at about 400 meg speed, 
then dropped down to 300 and towards the end it was at 220. This one seemed to thermal throttle. Transcend started off at 540 which gave me hope but then after about 50 gig it dropped down to 130 and never recovered. When it comes down to reversing the test for these large files, the story completely changes. Samsung averaged about 485 megabytes per second and Transcend blissed through it with 825 megabytes per second. That is a 70% improvement. This is where it got me scratching my head. What is going on? It seems a lot of SSD manufacturers boost their speed by introducing SLC cache buffer. This provides a dynamic portion of the drive which has the full speed and providing you stay within this rated capacity you will always have great performance. The flip side if you have one large transfer like we did the buffer will run out and you will be choking the drive hence the slow speeds. But after the transfer is finished and you leave the drive for a little while it will do its reshuffling of data and will have the cache available for you again. So let's give it a test. Here I copy our sample project folder. It's about 36 gig in size and contains a mix of video files in various sizes and some pictures. I took a break between each transfer for about 5 minutes and repeated the test again. The drive was certainly getting hot but speed stayed the same at about 550 megabytes per second. After 4 rounds I shortened the wait time between them to 3 minutes. After 3 more rounds I shortened the time to 2 minutes. And here towards the end the speed has dropped. Seems like I've pushed the drive a bit too hard and the cache wasn't able to recover fast enough at these timeouts. But something to consider as well, when any SSD gets closer to being full it naturally slows down. To conclude, what does it mean for the general consumer? Well this really depends on the use case. If you do massive backups which are time sensitive such as quickly moving hundreds of gigabytes of data to the drive and expect it to maintain the speed. You would be better off with drive like Samsung T5 or something much more expensive to achieve really good sustained write speeds. However, people who work with smaller transfers or working directly on a drive will benefit from the burst speeds that this drive provides. In our case, when we're recording somewhere remotely, our standard workflow is to save footage and pictures from the camera to the laptop. Then we would make a copy of it onto the SSD where the individual transfers would hardly ever reach 100 gigabytes. But this is not the main reason we like this drive. When we're back in the office and need to back up from the SSD to the server, this is where the crazy read speeds matter and we can offload the whole project in minutes so we can immediately start the work. This massively improves our productivity. So the bottom line, should you pay a little bit more for a drive with this performance? In our opinion, for the work that we do, yes, it is definitely worth it. I hope that you find this useful. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up and subscribe to show your support. We'll see you guys in the next one.